February of 2007, I was diagnosed um, diabetic, type two hereditary. Um, March, I was signing bankruptcy papers. And by June, I was HIV positive. Billy Porter sharing for the first time his 14-year diagnosis of being HIV positive. In a deeply personal interview with The Hollywood Reporter during his May 2021 cover shoot, the Pose actor speaks publicly for the first time about coming to terms with his diagnosis and the process of finding healing. So 2007 was the worst year of my life. I was in what I call my valley period. Um, on the precipice of obscurity. Porter recalls the traumatic year in his life, saying within six months he had been diagnosed with type 2 diabetes, filed for bankruptcy, and by June was struck with even more news. He was diagnosed as HIV positive. Porter calls it a trauma that he is now just beginning to work through. There's a shame connected to it based on the world, the stigma, but also specifically for me, um, you know, my childhood was fraught with a lot of um, religious shaming. Um, growing up in the Pentecostal church, I was shamed for my behavior, for my attributes, from the minute I could comprehend thought and you know, told I would never be blessed and told that AIDS was God's punishment for gays and all of that that we already know. It was that shame, Porter says, that silenced him all these years. I had been running away from that for a while, for my whole life. I had been running from it. I had been proving the naysayers wrong. I had been having success in my life and and everything just came crashing down in that year for me. And, uh, and shame is a silencer. Shame is destructive. Um, and I was silenced about it for a good 14 years. On the outside, it seemed that Porter had it made, with career-defining roles such as Pray Tell in Ryan Murphy's critically acclaimed FX drama Pose, a role that earned the actor a historical Emmy win in 2019 for a lead actor in a drama series, becoming the first openly gay black man to do so, and taking over the fashion world as a statement-making icon on the red carpet. But on the inside, Porter was still harboring his trauma. All of the things can exist at the same time. They have to. We have to understand how to hold space for all of it. My compartmentalizing muscle and my disassociation muscle are the only muscles I had for a really long time. So I could just do that really well, as you can see, and keep it moving. One of the reasons why Porter says he stayed silent was his relationship with his mother. The actor who has been open in the past about his close bond with his mother, Clorinda, says there was a fear when it came to sharing his news. The manifestation of the shame was not being able to um, tell my mother. You know, ultimately, I don't care what anybody else thinks. But my mother, having been through so much already, um, so much sort of persecution by her community, by her um religious community by uh, there was already so much of it in her life that she had to deal with because of my queerness that I just didn't want her to have to live through there I told you so of it all you know I had made a pact with myself that I would let her die before I told her That's not really so good. That's not really a good thing. The actor noted that his fear and shame drove him for many years of his life, 
and it wasn't until this past year's quarantine when people were given the time to, as he puts it, sit down and shut up, that he was finally able to confront that shame. I started trauma therapy to begin the process of healing as opposed to how I had been navigating through the world up until that time. You know, my trauma served me, my story served me in terms of forward motion for a very long time. Another turning point in seeking to heal from his trauma was his husband. Porter, who married Adam Smith, his partner of over 10 years in 2017, says he no longer lives his life for just himself. Now I'm trying to have a family. Now it's not just me. You know, it's not, I, you know, for me, it's like I can beat myself up forever. I can torture myself forever. We do that to ourselves all the time. But now there's another person in the room and now it's time to look at some stuff so that I can grow up and move on and tell a different story. Porter also says that it was his artistry that gave him the ability and opportunity to work through his trauma, most significantly his starring turn in Pose. And I am grateful to Pose, the spirit of it, the message of it, the purpose of it, my purpose, my calling, my ministry is about this conversation we're having because the world needs to know what HIV positive looks like. My question was always, well, why was I spared? You know, why am I living? Well, I'm living so I could tell the story. I'm living because I'm a vessel to make sure that everybody knows There was a whole generation who were here. And I stand on their shoulders. I can be who I am in this space and in this time and in this world because of the legacy that they left for me. So, it's time to put my big boy pants on and talk. And in terms of talking and speaking his truth, telling his mother was at the top of his list. I knew that I needed to tell my mother before the world knew I should probably do that. The plan was made. And then I woke up that Friday, my last day of filming, the last day of Pose and I was writing in my, typing my, in my gratitude journal and mommy just popped into my head and I was like, I haven't seen her in a while. Let me just call and talk to her. Not even two minutes in the conversation, she was like, what's wrong? Mother always knows. And I said, nothing, nothing. And she's like, son, please tell me what's wrong. So I ripped the Band-Aid off and I just told her, you know, and she said, I love you. I've always loved you. That will never change. And please stop doing this. She's like 14 years. Please stop doing that. And the truth shall, sh shall set you free. I feel it as I speak. I feel my, my heart releasing. You know, that, that it felt like a hand was holding my heart clenched for years. Feeling the weight lift and a sense of release, Porter was finally able to share the news with others, including his work family. With Pose now in its third and final season, the actor shared the news with the cast and crew on the final day of filming. 
I got up in front of the cast and the crew and all the people that helped to create this space for me. And I told them the truth. Because at a certain point, the truth is the responsible road. The truth is the healing. We are at a reckoning, not just in this country, but in the world. It's not just America. It is the whole world. And the only way for a civilization to heal is with the truth. Now, Porter hopes his story can serve as hope for others. I'm writing my memoir right now. You know, so much of it is about rebirth. Pose has come to an end, yes. Therefore, pray tell and all of those characters, you know, that story has come to an end, but it's a rebirth of Billy. <sighs> and as for his hope for the future, Porter says he's no longer tied down by fear and instead is looking forward to joy. I don't care what anybody has negative to say about me. You're either with me or simply move out of the way, or I will move you out of the way. I'm looking forward to living a truly joyful life, a truly peaceful life. I'm on the road to healing myself. There's nothing better. <laughs>